Praise be to God on this glorious day, everybody. I'm Colorful Artie, and welcome back to Donkey Kong Country Free. Continuing the Chaos Core, we're now on the second level, Creepy Caverns. We went to Baffle's Code Room last time. We better keep that code in mind, because we'll need it soon. But first, Creepy Caverns. Another cavern level, as you probably guessed, and this level is much harder in the GBA version than in the Super Nintendo version. So this is the gimmick of the level. These barrels. You can only jump in them while they're actually on screen. And they get much more annoying. So for example, here we have to run through when they're not there, otherwise we're getting launched up. And now, depending on where, uh, they change direction when they appear. So like, it's totally random what direction they'll be facing when they appear. So right now it's easy, but eventually it's going to get so fast, it's pretty much down to luck whether or not you'll jump in and you'll go the right direction. Yeah. Whew. Also, a lot of fat Kremlins. Oh, sorry about that, Dixie. There we go. Oh, shoot. Forgot about that. Yeah, you don't get a whole lot of reaction time when, uh, when they're on screen. Oh, ouch. Yeah, in the Super Nintendo version, like, they, the invisible bar barrels stay on screen for a bit longer, giving you more reaction time before you can decide whether or not you want to jump in. I don't know why they shortened it so much in the GBA version. Let's just take care of these guys. And I guess for right now, they they stay on screen for a decent amount of time, but eventually it's like, yeah, there's no way of knowing. Like, you cannot react fast enough. There we go. And yes, that's the exact same laugh that the cloaks have from Donkey Kong Country 2. Well, that was an easy bonus barrel. Thank goodness for small favors. Whew. Oh, hi, hi, clobbers. So if we use the barrel to destroy that buzzer, we can get blasted up here and get a- Oh, Squitter! I forgot Squitter was on this level. He's gonna help out. Oh boy. No! Darn you! Alright, I'm gonna have to just take the hit to get Squitter back. I'm guessing I'll need Squitter. So apparently Squitter cannot kill these guys. Good to know. Well this is gonna be annoying. Darn it. Yep, I knew we would need Squitter. Or rather, I had a very strong hunch we would need Squitter. There we go. Whew. Find the coin.
There we go. Just gotta make the webs very close together so you can just walk on top of them. And that's why you can't go up the other way. Oh man, that stayed on screen longer than I was expecting. So we've had two different enemies that uh, in the game that have done the two different cloak sound effects, darn it. <laughs> These enemies, and then uh, the crack shot. Man, there are a ton of coins on these levels. Aw, oh, darn it. I know what we have to do. Yeah, we gotta throw the steel keg. And then hit... Oh, well, maybe. Huh. I'm not sure how that worked, but apparently that's what you were supposed to do. Whew. Okay. We're approaching that part of the level where, like, the reaction time is just... ...too, like, not good enough. Oh, wait, what? I remember that level being much harder. I'm glad it wasn't, though. Woo! <laughs> Alright, so you see these two rocks, remember what, um, the code guys, or whatever his name was, that one bear's like, oh yeah, around the rocks, make an eight. Well, let's do just that. Come on. I'm making a figure eight around them. Do I have to do it the other way? Okay, that's weird. We're going back to Baffle's code room. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Haven't you got anything better to do? <laughs> Hello, Calms. <laughs> what brings you here to... Or what are you... How are you today? Whatever, Baffle, you're no help at all. Is 
It says to make a figurine around this, but I'm doing that and it's not working. What is this? I'm looking this up. So as far as I know, I should be doing it right. You start from the upper left rock and then swim a figure eight around here. Okay, well that it happened that time. Sewer stockpile. Awesome. Alright, cool. So if we go down here, that's Cranky's Dojo if we want. Otherwise, we're going to Lightning Lookout. You remember these levels? So the gimmick for this level, Lightning's constantly striking. And that can kill you, but it can also kill the buzzers that are in your way. This is a level that's probably a lot easier in the GBA version. Just because the lightning gimmicks are a bit different. Also, if you're carrying a barrel above your head, then uh, the lightning will destroy the barrel and not you. And dang, red buzzers, it's like, oh, lightning? What's that? Also, if lightning strikes the water and you're in it, then you will just get electrocuted immediately. So try to stay out of the water on this level. I spent at least one lightning strike in. And that was a shockingly easy bonus barrel. But that's cool. Whoop! Don't be afraid to go backwards for a little bit. Because that thus far has been saving my life. Also, I would not be- I would not let the lightning strike you if you were carrying a steel keg. As you know, steel conducts electricity very well. Whew! Whoa! I think in the Super NES version, this level is a lot darker, so it's harder to see what's coming. Blip. Dixie's hair is also a very, very useful trick on this level. Is there going to be lightning on this? There sure is. Oh, sweet. That was a remarkably easy green banana mission. Nice! K-O-N-G Kong. I repeat, do not be in the water if the lightning is striking. At least if it's striking in the water. Wow, I beat Lightning Lookout without even taking a hit. That's pretty awesome. We got time for another level then. Coin Dozer Clamber. This level is deceptively annoying. So, hey guys, it's coins everywhere. These guys are Coin Dozers because they actually run after you. Like coins, they can't actually hurt you, but they can push you. And there are plenty of bottomless pits on this level for them to do that. Best thing to do is jump on their heads. Because if you do that, they can actually give you a nice little platform boost. Do not land right in front of them, otherwise you will almost certainly die. So this is bear coin over there if you want. I do not want. Is there a bonus barrel back there? Nope. Okay. 
Again, D Dixie's hair is super useful on this level, lets you slow descend, making it much easier to land on their uh, coins. You guys remember bazookas? Okay, I could have sworn there was going to be a, a secret down there. Never mind. I do think this level is probably the most legitimately difficult level in the final world. Because the other ones are just kind of a bit gimmicky. And the conveyor rope clash is not terribly difficult. This one is basically just like, yeah, it's hard platforming and hard to deal with these coin dozers. It's been a while since we've seen bazookas. No! <laughs> that was lovely. <laughs> Absolutely lovely. No! And that's why the level's incredibly annoying to do with Kitty Calm. Because of his larger hitbox, it's extremely easy for them to just push him off a cliff. And he doesn't have the luxury of Dixie's slow descent hair move. Plus, Dixie's better at shimmying. What the heck? It wouldn't let me jump to my full height. Cursed Bazooka. Also, I really wish this level just started in with the awesome music instead of making you wait for it. Oh, wow. I didn't even realize the O was there. There we go. No bonus barrels, and yet I've reached the checkpoint. That's... troubling. Hmm. Yeah, now we've got to use them as platforms. No bonus barrels, no coin yet. Wait a second. Saw that! Oh, heck no. I'm, I'm not being kitty calm for this one. No. It was close. But sweet, cool. Stupid coin dozers. Hey, here's the actual coin. Oh, and I saw the other bonus barrel. Okay, I guess all the secrets are just far after the halfway point. Or maybe this is one of those levels where the checkpoint is not even close to being at the halfway point. It's doable as Kitty Kong. But Dixie Call makes it much easier. Oh, I guess you could get the bounce off of the Caboyne in order to get to that bonus barrel. Oh!
Never mind, that's not where the bonus barrel was. That's where the steel keg changer is. Hmm. Where's that last bonus barrel? You're not pushing me off a cliff. I do believe we missed the bonus barrel. Well, since I'm close to the checkpoint, or I got the checkpoint, might as well do some backtracking. That was the one I actually got. Alright, maybe it's in the first half of the level hidden up in the treetop somewhere. Only one way to find out. And that's not the way. Bear with me, the last world's tough. Sure enough, that was a well-hidden one. we go. Dixie Cone, you are a gem. Maybe the coin dozers are good guys and they're actually trying to just catch us. Nah. Otherwise, why would they be running after us trying to push us off a cliff? Forgot you can't do Dixie's hair after jumping off of an enemy. Oh, we were getting to the good part of the song. I have to do this last part is just kitty calm. Oh. Never mind. Be careful roll jumping off of the coin dozers. Because sometimes they can just push you immediately. So we got Swanky's dash up there, and otherwise. We're going to have uh, to do Poisonous Pipeline in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope to see you then. Have a great day, and God bless.